they said, of course, that no government has won a seat off the opposition for a hundred years. Well, we changed that in Aston when we made history there. I think people are looking forward, not back. And I think people are looking at who will be their local champion. It's an opportunity to send the Prime Minister a message. Great to see you, mate. Between robo-debt and the voice referendum, there's been no shortage of political fodder to seize upon in the Fadden by-election. But many people don't even know it's on. Good morning. Have you voted yet? No, I'll do it. OK, no worries. <laughs> Griffith University nursing lecturer Letitia Del Fabro wasn't expecting a second tilt so soon for the safely conservative seat of Fadden. She dinted outgoing MP Stuart Roberts' margin at last year's general election with a swing of three and a half percent. Hi, how are you going? Good, thanks. Have you voted yet? No. Oh, can I chuck one of these in your bag? Yeah, yeah this is my how to vote card if you decide to vote Labor. People are talking a little bit about, you know, rising rents and um, rising mortgages as well. So um, that's for me an opportunity to talk about Labor's policies, you know, subsidising childcare and putting more money into Medicare for the first time in a lot of years. The daily grind for commuters, an opportunity to try and claw votes away from the LNP. A lot of that door knocking and telephone conversations is about awareness of the election actually happening because we had uh, an election last year and a Liberal member was elected and now he's resigned, so it's important to get that word out there. Do you live around here? The incumbent, outgoing Liberal National MP Stuart Robert, is accused of helping a consultancy firm win government contracts and that he stood to profit from the arrangement, allegations he denies. I do. He was also the Minister for Government Services during the robo-debt scandal. Hello. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I'm good. The way the community's been talking to me is very much that they're giving me a fresh go. Um, and I appreciate that. And, and even Stuart, whilst we had some discussions a few weeks ago, he's given me the clear air to make my own way in this seat. Three, two, one. Former lawyer Cameron Caldwell is hoping to piggyback on the nearly 40-year Liberal Party reign in Fadden. I might grab one of those on the way out. And his credentials as a Gold Coast City Councillor for the past 11 years. I feel like I have a lot to offer the local area and um, it's been a really important thing for me over my council career to make sure that I listen and provide really good local representation and that's what I think I can offer the people as this federal opportunity now arises. The seat of Fadden takes in the northern suburbs of the Gold Coast. It's an area with many young families and retirees, feeling the ever-present cost of living squeeze. You know, I think it's very much a community of people who are aspirational, so the kind of hard aspirational people, and so they do subscribe to that liberal ideology very much in this electorate and I, I don't really see that changing quickly. A lot of people that go to the voting polls, they don't even know who they're voting for. They have no idea there is so much apathy. Despite Labor's victory at April's Aston by-election, prospects for a repeat in Fadden are unlikely. Labor has never before won a Gold Coast-based federal seat, and at the moment it's held by a 10.6% margin. There's three clear issues that have been raised, the cost of living, crime and the delivery of infrastructure. It's so hard to get excited about, you know, thinking that there's going to be a decent change in the area because each time it just seems to be, um, you know, as a new, new person comes in, not much changes, so, yeah. The Greens and a bevy of minor parties and independents are also vying for the seat. Preferences from last election funnelled votes to Labor from the Greens and to the LNP from One Nation. Yeah, How are you, sir? Good. Good. Thank That's you. good. How are you, madam? Well, I never think that anything's a safe bet. Like, seriously, I don't think modern politics works like that anymore. The moment you take anything for granted, get ready to have your backside handed to you on a plate. See you later. Good day.
We're very realistic about our chances in this by-election. I don't think a single person thinks that Labor can win this by-election, but we still think it's important to offer people on the Gold Coast a say. A say on how Peter Dutton is leading the LNP and the kind of policy direction that he's taking the LNP. Peter Dutton has urged the Fadden electorate to consider their vote through the lens of the upcoming voice referendum. It's something neither candidate believes is top of mind for voters this by-election. No, I haven't really had many questions about the voice. People don't want to be pegged as being on one side or the other, so they're having those discussions with me privately, but there is not a great deal of support for the voice as I listen to the people in the local electorate. Household finances have changed significantly since last year's federal election. There's been 11 interest rate rises and price hikes to power bills are putting families under significant pressure. People are worried. They're worried about how they're going to make two ends meet. People have a sense of pride and they want to keep their dignity and there's nothing less dignified than saying, I've got no money. 